All right, in this video, we are going to discuss about Samsung's Theme Park engine versus the color palette feature based on Android 12's Material U feature. Let's explore and see which one is better, right? Now, here's the thing. You love watching contents on One UI and I love creating contents on One UI. But for me to keep going, I want your support to take this channel to the next level. The best thing you can do to help me to climb the ladder is just subscribe to the channel so that I get more encouragement to bring more contents for you guys. Let's target 1000 likes for this video. It is definitely not difficult for you guys. So just tap that button. Now let's get started. We all know that the all new color palette feature has been made available on One UI 4.0 which enables theming on the phone based on the wallpapers we select. Now much before this feature was released by Google on Android 12, Samsung's Good Luck application offered a more powerful theming engine for Samsung devices. So Samsung understood the users much before Google did and offered what we really want when it comes to color customization. Alright now here I have got two devices on display. Let's check out the color palette feature and theme park feature side by side and see which one is better. Now let's apply similar wallpaper on both these devices. I've got Note 10 Plus on the left hand side and I've got the Note 20 Ultra on the right hand side. Both of them are running on the stable version of One UI 4.0. Now on Note 10 Plus I'm going to apply this wallpaper here. Let's tap on three dot, set as wallpaper, home screen, set on home screen. Now we get to see this color palette options. We've got four different color combinations available here and we also have the system default on the left hand side. And we can also apply the color palette to the app icons as well if you desire to do so. As you can see on the top we've got these three different sections here where these color palettes will be applied. On the quick panel the colors will be applied on the toggles as well as the brightness bar. We get some colors on the phone dialer and it also shows the settings menu where we get a light tint in the background on settings menu. And of course on the profile icon we are going to see some colors. Apart from these all the system applications do get some sort of colors but it is not applied throughout. All right now here on the Note 20 Ultra we have the same wallpaper applied. Now what we are going to do is let's open Good Lock module and let's open Theme Park Engine. This is a very powerful customization engine we have here. We've got theme, here we can create our theme and then we've got keyboard, quick panel, icon, volume panels also can be customized right here on this application itself. But here we are going to focus on themes. Let me tap on create new. As you can see it takes the current wallpaper which is set on the phone. I'll tap on next and here it is. We have got so many different sections where we can customize the themes. We've got the lock screen customization option. And if you want to customize the icons, we can change that also. We can change the shapes. But this has nothing to do with the color customization options, of course. I'm just showing you what all we can do on Theme Park. Let's go to the color options right away. Let's go back. Here we've got the keyboard. Here we can customize the colors on each and every element or each and every key. Now the most interesting thing, the quick panel. We can customize every element on the quick panel. We can change the colors of the background. We can change the colors of these toggles. We can change the transparency. We can change the colors of the notifications as well as the contents displayed right here. We can change the colors of those as well. That is just fantastic. Now let's go to messages. Here again, we can customize a lot of elements. We can see there are about seven circles here, which means there are seven different color customization options available for this particular item. Apart from these, when we tap on the phone dialer or the settings option, we are not able to access it because we don't have color customization options for these items right now. And I'm sure we will get some updates in the future for Theme Park Engine, which will enable us to customize these sections as well. Now here on the Note 10 Plus, using this color palette customization feature, we can apply four different combinations. Whereas here on the theme park, as you can see at the bottom, we've got multiple colors. It says select a theme style. Style decides the mood and colors of the theme. We can select variety of combinations here. Just tap on the one you want. Automatically all these colors will change in each and every section of the UI. That is just brilliant. Now you know which one is much more advanced. What do you think about it? Do you like the color palette option or do you like customizing your phone using the theme park engine? Do let me know in the comment section below. I hope you liked this video. This was the comparison between the color palette feature on One UI 4.0 and the theme park engine or the theme park module on Good Lock application. 
If you like the content, make sure to smash that like button and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.